The Apostles' Creed uh, is, a, is a creed that we know of indirectly from the witness of the patristic period. You can find various versions of it. Um, there, it wasn't the result of a council. It's not like a council sat down and said, this is what the Apostles' Creed is. Instead, what we find is very early witness in the second and third centuries of these are the things that they are teaching catechumens, that is, those who are coming from the realm of paganism and unbelief, and that are coming through uh, discipleship and public profession into the church. So the, the, the creeds developed as one of the ways to put a difference between the world of unbelief and paganism and as an entry point into the church so that people understood this is what we believe about who God is and what God has done in history. And also, what is the church? What are things like the resurrection? Um, is there such a thing as forgiveness of sins? And so the Apostles' Creed was a pattern of sound words. It was a pattern of speech that was used as part of the discipleship and um, training of those who were coming into the church in the early um, church environment. The Nicene Creed, and what's also known after that as the Constantinopolitan Creed, today we just call both of those the Nicene Creed. I don't think, we, I don't think anyone really ever says from the pulpit, turn, to your, turn in the back of your hymnals and look at the Nicene Constantinopolitan Creed. Too much of a mouthful. I think instead we just say the Nicene Creed, taking into account two major creeds of the fourth century. But the relevance today for these is that it connects the, the, the church today with what has always been said in the church about who God is and what God has done. Most of the debates that inform the Nicene Creed have to do with questions specifically about the person and work of Christ and maintaining the, uh, that high Christology that is part of the conversation about our redemption. You also have expositions there of uh, who the Holy Spirit is as well as the uh, role of forgiveness of sins. So the, the creeds in that sense set forth a pattern of sound words that help us articulate our faith publicly, which I think is an, another important point about the, the role and function of creeds. Um, not only do they give us a, a connection to our history of what the church has believed, but they also are a public statement. Uh, the things that the church teaches are not hot, private, they're not uh, hidden, they're not said in secret. We're very open with what we say and what we're very open with what we've always said. So the, that now all of a sudden we're, when we're bearing witness in an environment where people want, you can, drive through, you can drive through the city of Philadelphia today and see on the side of the road people have signs in their yard that tell you very clearly, I believe in, and they'll have, make all sorts of political claims about what they believe in. So if it's right for someone to have a yard sign about what they believe, surely we need a sign for the church to say more publicly, this is what we believe as the community of God in Christ Jesus.